All right, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm doing an Apex seat upgrade. So basically, I got to the point where, I mean, I'm also trying to do the donuts, but them fucking clamps down there won't come off. So that's on pause for now, but basically I got to pull a bunch of staples. Well, not on this seat. I'll show you what you got to do with this one. But this one, you got to pull all the staples on this side. Well, not maybe not all the staples, but you gotta pull quite a few staples. And then pull this back so you can swap the wires. Because that's really the only thing that's different between the two seats is the wiring. And then with the tank, I know you gotta, you gotta like cut from there up or something, but it's like really I mean, and hey, look at this tank cover. This or this was under a tank bag, which I don't know where it is right now. Oh well, there it is. It was under that tank bag, so. I mean, for a while, it's been being worn and worn and worn, and that's, I don't know if I can get that off. I mean, I plexed this, this side, and it's at least shiny compared to that, but, I mean, the hood, on the other hand, painted up them vents, and woo! God, look, the hood looks brand new. Also got this secured again. So it's coming along. Uh, most of the bushings are gone, so I'm waiting for a Yamaha order to get put in. But, uh, the old neck warmer on, and yeah, so basically what I do is I take a screwdriver, so I've done this on my 500, taking out seat staples. Just find a screwdriver that fits good, and just go and pry, 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 pry. Yeah, so, fun, fun, fun. So, it's just more for my reference too, but this is what it looks like before, in case you didn't know. All right. And I'll come back once I got all those off. All right, I got it most of the way off. Um, so next, kind of peel this back, and look, you can see the tape for the wire. And there will be more as you go along towards the back, but I think i got to pull all the ones in here too. Um, I did it up to here, I, that's good enough. So I did it right up to, which, right there. Ripped a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pull more staples, and then yeah. So you gotta undo this and then like undo those staples and then that can pop off. Well, this will sort of pop up, but mine's disintegrating a bit. Doesn't matter because the seat's either gonna go up in the attic or be sold. I'll probably just put, I don't know what I'll do, but once I'm done, but um, yeah, and then we'll, once I get this wiring out, I'll have to look over again what I need to do for that one, but I know you gotta drill out rivets in the back for the trunk and stuff, so. Oh yeah. First of all, this is uh, Tool, The Pot, good song. Second of all, um, you actually stick your hand in there, and if you look, you can kinda see where I've already peeled off the tape. I'm one of them, oh come on. But it like, it runs down through there, and then comes out here, so I'm getting close. Um, I think there's either three or four pieces of tape, so, um, yeah, this, this does suck. You, you it's, it's not fun to get, try and get your hand in there because you got to kind of compress the foam and like walk your fingers in and feel where the tape is, but I'm really close. Putting the wire back in would suck. You have to take out the whole cover for that, but I don't got to do that. So, and by the way, most Apex seats don't come with the wiring and I don't think a lot of RX1 seats come with the wiring, so doesn't really matter, but all right, I'll keep going. So, hey, oh, yeah, you don't need to pull any more staples. I was gonna, that's the whole reason I turned the camera back on. So, all right, I'll be back once I got this out. So, you probably don't have to pull more staples. Just, I would do it from about this rivet to about just after it's start, right after this strip right here. So, rivet to the strip and then pull all those, and then you probably should be able to fit your finger in there. And unless you got really fat fingers like me, it'll be. Might be easier if you have skinnier fingers, but all right, I'll be back. Just kidding, I had to remove more staples, but if you look, and get the camera in there enough, you can maybe see the tape's like, it's a brown stuff right like, right above my finger right now. So you just take that off and the whole thing should slide right out. So I'm gonna do that quick. But yeah, I had to go up to just, Undo all the gray. That's my advice and then go a little bit above on the black up there But all the gray like where all the gray is and yeah, same thing up on here So just go up to this From this shield and then then should be good, but 
it's it's about this many staples if you want to sit and count just it's it's a lot ah, victory finally got it out um it is important to know which end goes where this one obviously was in the seat because of how clean it is check everything after it's it's not fun to pull it out but Basically, just stick your finger way in there, and once you find the tape, rip it down. And, uh, yeah, doing it like this up here, you can see where the tape was. So there is four pieces. <clears throat> Bad design. You have to, you, if you really want to do this simply, take the whole seat cover off. This only took me, like, I don't know, ten minutes. So expect this to be, like, a 45-minute to an hour job. Something like that. Oh, I'll get the Apex seat up here, and we'll take that one apart, too. Get the get the apex wiring out of it and then get this one in because my dad's got an apex too so he could use the uh, wiring if his go his goes bad or whatever you can always make money on that i'm sure someone needs it anyhow all right got the apex seat up here if you look so a main the main thing i'm gonna like about this upgrade is the rx1 seat it doesn't have a tank or a glove box or a tank spot whatever the Apex seat, on the other hand, does. And that's where the wiring runs through. So you can see, it's what goes through down there and down there. So, um, hey, we got a Yamaha thing. Okay, have that out. Which uh, I was expecting to see the two little, um, these J hooks, but. There is none on this seat because they probably got used for this one again. That's fine. We got we got that. So, um, let me see. So I think you got to drill those two rivets, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. I'll have to look through the pictures again. This one's a little better of a design, but it doesn't seem, I mean, it's not simple by any means. And here's where it comes through up here. So I think I still have to undo staples, if I remember right. Oof. Yeah. There and there, it's been, it's worn through, but other than that, there isn't any, oh, it's a little nick, but I mean, Compared to what it could be, they're both both good seats. So, all right, yeah. Let's see if I can maybe get that wiring out. I'll just I'll have to just do it off camera and then go through and then show you like what I did. So that's what I'll do. Okay, this was kind of a bugger to get out, but um, basically, so it looks like you would have rivets on the bottom. Like it looks like those are rivets. There. Oh, sorry. That right there and that, but they're not, and that one too, but. They're just like, I'll show you inside here. They're not. They're just like little plugs that you could put back in. Um, but anyways, yeah, you just kind of pry up on this. And then, you look, that's a lot easier than the stupid um, design of the other one. But, uh, so, now i got to find out what I need to remove next, what I need to do next. But, um, much better design. Much better design. All right, and I found this out that starting from the back of the seat, go up, okay. It's these two rivets and these two rivets. And then you gotta drop the whole glove box because now like you, you can't reach far enough down there to uh, get to where the wire goes. So basically you just undo those, drill them out, find the right size drill bit here, which I'll tell you in just a second. An eighth inch drill bit ought to work just fine because if I set it in there, then It'll work, so, okay. Anyways, drill that out, and then the glove box will kind of drop or something. I don't know. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, yeah, you also got to remove uh, staples on this, too. I uh, forgot to mention that because the, in the thing, the TY4 stroke I'm reading, the form, it doesn't say you need to remove these, but you do. All right. It's hard to see kind of what I got, but 
Basically, there's like another rivet under there. I just tried drilling that out. I'm not sure if that made a difference or not, but I'm to this point, and now I think I can just pull the wiring. Um, I think maybe there's a little bit of tape you gotta pull, but, um, but yeah, yeah, there's tape. There's just tape there, and then I don't think there's tape anywhere else. But yeah, so there you go. I might try and slide this down to where that curve is, because. It looks like where it would be, but there you go. Victory yet again. Wow. Um, easier and harder. Easier because you don't have to try and stick your fingers in there, but harder because you gotta drill rivets and then once you finally wedge the screwdriver in there and pry that glove box apart, because you, you can see where it is. What I recommend doing is flipping it back like this, going in and trying to unclip as much as you can and then you'll, you'll feel it like all of a sudden whole thing will be off and you know you're about to pick the whole, oops, pick the whole thing out. Alright, so now I gotta find out how to thread the new stuff through and uh, we, once I get this through, we'll, uh, we'll call her a day then because that'll it'll be it obviously. But whoa, my hands are cold because it's, uh, it's not warm even with that damn heater. Still ain't doing much. So I might need to go in for a warm-up break, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. Doesn't matter to you guys because it's one big long video, but all right, I'll be back. All right, break time's over. So now what you wanna do is take the wiring harness from the Warrior, or sorry, well, for you guys, it's Arx one probably. So this one, in fact, I don't even know what I did with the Apex one. I don't care because I don't need it. Oh, I said on my dad's sled. So make sure you know which way it goes, because there is only one way. Uh, it's pretty easy to tell which one, because usually it'll be this colored, but if you're not sure, let's go up to your sled. By the way, you don't have to get it down this much, you just gotta take the tank thing off, and then unbolt the seat. But you, so this, it's obviously the connector for here, because it's the same color, it's not the, the white one. That goes into the tail light. Which, if you look, you can see how those go. So, make sure you do that the right way. Um, so yeah, don't rivet it before you put the wiring through. Wire, then rivet. Okay? Yeah, all right. I'll be back once I get the wiring through and then mount the taillight, and then we'll be done. And I'm going to be pleased. Well, shit, no. Got to restaple it. <laughs> but all right. Okay, so this wire threading goes a lot easier than the other one. So you get it kind of set up in there, but way down there, you can kind of see a, a zoom in. Focus, bitch, there we go. That, where the SV is, that needs to be popped down in there, and then if you look forward more, you can see where the wiring needs to go. So, I mean, an extreme close up here. Okay, my phone's having a spasm attack. But there you go. So, um, I'll just work on, Jesus Christ, sorry guys. Yeah, I'll work on uh, getting that and then I'll be back once I got that done. Alright, if you look on the bottom of the seat, this is like a passage for the wiring. So, see I've got that coming through, you just kind of go down there, pop the tank back, or the glove box back into place, come up here, make sure your rivet's aligned, and then find the appropriate size rivet, pop rivet it in there, 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 and there. You only probably really need to do this side, but I figure I might as well do that side too. And then, restaple the seat. I got all the stuff clipped in. <clears throat> I tried putting a piece of tape up here, but I just felt like there was really no point because it, I mean, if you look and know where it went, it kind of got rolled up. So it doesn't even matter if you put tape or not. Just make sure it stays out of the way when you're stapling. So I'll be back once I've got the rivets in and then. Um, I'll show you how to staple the seat because most people probably don't know. You gotta like stretch it and kind of, yeah, I'll, I'll just show you. All right, got the old rivets on. Seems obvious, but use safety glasses while doing that. Next up, I gotta find it, which hopefully we actually have it down here and it's not at the cabin, but you need a nail gun. So, um, oh, here it is. A staple gun, I mean. Um, 
I gotta make sure it's got stables in it, but uh, yeah, so I'll kind of show you once I get one staple on kind of how to do it, but basically the best way, in my opinion, is of course make sure your wiring's out of the way. But you pick it up and like stretch it over, hold finger away from it and go up with the staple gun and I, I think, because why not, go back in the exact same spot. Um, so, yeah, but I mean look, there's the front, there's the back. It's, it's more than a two hour job, by the way. It's a couple hour. But yeah, sell this at a swap meet because even though it doesn't have wiring in it, someone's gonna have an RX1 seat that looks you know same color or whatever. It's all ripped up and they go, man, wish I had a replacement for that. And then go to the swap meet and they see that for 10, 15 bucks, maybe 30. Hey, mind or good seat, whatever. Yeah, 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 just missing the wiring. Okay, well, pull that out of your other seat, so. Whatever, side topic. Anyways, I'll get some staples in and then same thing, wear safety glasses because you just never know. Especially with the rivet popper because you've never used one. Um, basically, you stick a rivet in and there's a little rivet in. Jeez, I said that fast. There's a thing about that long that you stick the rivet gun down in and make sure it fits on there. And then you squeeze it and it pushes down on the rivet and expands it, which I can kind of show you down here. Uh, somewhere. Yeah, right there. There you go. Which, I mean, it sort of pushed the thing down in a way, but it also kind of grabbed onto it. So whatever. But it mushrooms it out, basically, and then pops off. So, you know, anyways, let me get some staples in. So kind of like that. And just be ready, because it shoots it. And, uh, yeah, if you're not ready for it, yeah, keep your... So I'm going to say is keep your fingers that way, because it's a... Poof, and, I mean, it's... It takes some pressure. And camera lens might actually be a little dirty. Yeah. I think that's better. But anyways, yeah, so I mean it won't be pretty, but yeah, so replace all these staples and then uh, put that tea, ha tea cover on and call it a day. And uh, yeah, I mean obviously I can't play on my sled yet, but I wanted to get this done today since I knew what I was doing and I don't, I can't do anything else really right now. Well, that staple didn't go in properly. Try your best to line it up with going in the same hole, which I failed to do failed to really go in at all but yeah it's it's serious it's these nail guns but anyways that's gonna be it for this video um it's pretty easy to figure out how to put the rest of this together just obviously staple it and then call it call it a night so you'll have to trim your tank so there will be a part two to this of actually putting it together but i'll be for a while so anyways thanks for watching consider subscribing i mean I've climbed a lot of subscribers, and I really appreciate all of you, so thank you for that. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.